This is the most dangerous dispute. It feeds so many movements in the world. <coughs> just one and even unjust one. In a justified way, and many times not in a justified way. But this is such a source of frustration, of anger, of hatred against the West, against Israel, against the United States, against the UN, against anyone. And not to put any kind of serious effort to solve this, this is something that I can really hardly understand. Because it really endangers the, the security of the world. Let's again leave moral values, leave the fate of the Palestinians, leave everything in terms of really rationality, in terms of security in the world. This is a very, very dangerous dispute with the longest peace process in history, which didn't lead and will not lead to anywhere. Just this masquerade of meeting and photo opportunities. We are facing now a new scene in this masquerade. So I'm sorry I can't uh, get you any more promising uh, vision. I'll be the first one to admit that I was wrong. I will be the first one to apologize of being too pessimistic. Maybe I'm totally wrong. I'll be happy to be corrected by you. But I don't see in the nearby future any hope. On the other hand, and this is my last sentence. On the other hand, would we meet in the year of 88 or 89? And I would tell you that the Berlin Wall will fall within one year. You would have thought that I'm lunatic or, or really not connected to reality. Would I tell you that the apartheid regime will fall without almost no bloodshed? in South Africa, one day, almost one day. It was hard to believe. It was unthinkable, almost. And those two things happened. So maybe, you know, maybe one day this rotten structure of the Israeli occupation will just fall out of the blue. It is a possibility. I, I don't see it happening but because Israel is too strong and the settlements are too much well established. <laughs> but maybe it will happen. But right now, if I look forwards, I don't see any scenario which leaves me as an Israeli with hope. Thank you very much.